qui sait la chumpa. La chumpa. Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. I, on behalf of my party, Sikkim Democratic Front, and my leader, Chief Minister of Sikkim, Sri Pawan Chamling, welcome this legislation. I understand that this bill is a major reform agenda of the government. And as per the, as per the positions given by the government, the bill is going to bring a sea of change in the indirect tax structure of the country. Having said that, sir, I have some points to make in regard to revenue earning of my states. Sir, are there, as per the discussion paper, on GST bill, one person additional tax was allowed to be levied, levied by the manufacturing states on export of goods. In Sikkim, there are 22 pharmaceutical and packaging companies and hydro projects with a huge investment, and most of the export are done through stock transfer in absence of warehouses. However, with the bill being changed by the select committee, the manufacturing states cannot levy one person additional tax on stock transfer. This will, this will therefore lead to a loss in revenue for the state. The second point I wish to make is, with the regard to change in the distribution of revenue to the states, as per the recommendation of 14 Com Finance Commission, state shares in the net proceeds of union tax revenue has been increased to 42% from 32% earlier. Though this is the largest ever jump in percentage of devolution, Sikkim is actually going to get less than before. The reason being the calculation of per capita income of the state done by, by the finan 14 finance commissions based on the investments in the state. The grant in aid for revenue deficits state has not been allotted to the state of Sikkim. Unfortunately, the state is not getting the desired revenue from the investments made within the state. Therefore, Sikkim will be losing on two accounts. One, getting less share under the recommendation of 14 Finance Commission, and two, loss from, the, loss from not being able to levy 1% additional tax of manufacturing units on stock transfer. I hope that while replying to this debate, the finance minister will address these points. At this point, I also wish to raise the 43,000 crores economic package requested by Sikkim for completion of ongoing projects. I would request the finance minister to inform about the request of the government on the package and also to provide a grantee to compensate any revenue loss in the first five years of introducing the new indirect tax regime. Once again, I welcome and support this legislation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.